Hola people, how's everyone doing today? So if you can see by the title today, we're gonna to be reviewing some bite-sized items. So e.l.f. decided to come out with some bite-sized face products this time that go along with their bite-sized line for the eyeshadows that they have. So in these bite-sized duos, there are eight shades and I picked up four that seemed like they would be the most kind of tan girl friendly, but they all look very beautiful. I will say that seeing them in person, they look very promising, a lot more than I thought online because online they look pretty washed out. Even though some colors show them very, very pigmented, some of the photos show them pretty washed out. So I wasn't really sure what to expect. So I picked the four that kind of, you know, vibe with me and that I felt that would show up on my complexion. Uh, let's see. On the website, it says each palette includes two highly pigmented and complementary shades for each skin tone, mix of matte and shimmer shades of blush, bronzer, and highlighter. Uh, it says the get on the go cheeky glow with these highlighter, bronzer, and blush powder duos. Each palette features complementary complementary shades that are highly pigmented and versatile for every skin tone. So maybe I should have grabbed all eight since they're saying they're versatile for every single skin tone. There are definitely some on here. You see the picture and I'll pop it up on the screen here that again, like they looked a little light and I don't really know if they would have worked for us, but I do know I was talking to Karen Harris on YouTube and she, I believe grabbed all of them. So I'll, if her link, if her video is up, I'll link it below because I think that she did grab more than I did, but yeah. So I'm going to go ahead and swatch them and then I already have my foundation and concealer on. So I'll swatch um, each duo on a cheek, take this off so that you get to see what they all look like. So on that, I'll be right back. Okay, so the four shades that I purchased were, let's see, pomegranate, which looks like this. So each shade has their blush or bronzer on this side and highlighter on the other side. And this is really pretty. So I'm gonna go ahead and swatch them all at the end. Okay, this is the bronzer one and this is in coconut. This is the more peachy orangey one, and this one is called Guava. The next one is like a true peach, and this one is called White Peach. And they're all very beautiful. I will say, looking at all of the highlights, just looking at them, they look very similar. Um, so let me go ahead and swatch them all for you. Okay, so. I will insert the swatches, but the top one is the pomegranate one, which is the blush and highlighter duo. And that's really pretty, okay. Then we have the next one is guava. And the guava blush doesn't seem as pigmented as the others, but the highlight is really beautiful. It has like a peachy undertone to, and more champagne to that one. The next one is the peach, white peach. All of these blushes, seem to be packed really softly so they're um, a little powdery when you go ahead and dip your finger into them and probably when you dip your brush as well so um they do seem like they they will blend out really well and the highlight shades seem to correspond really well to the blush shade or bronzer shade that's inside of it the only one was the bronzer even though it is pretty deep i like that a lot the highlight for this one seems to be more hardly packed and more like a glitter so i don't know if you guys can really see that okay i'm i'm the worst at swatches i'll take a picture and insert it in so that you all can see so i'm gonna go ahead and start applying each one i think i'm gonna save the bronzer for last and start with the lighter colors first okay so normally i would use this blush for my blush brush and i would use um this for my highlighter so i think i'm gonna do that and then i'll just use the same brush and wipe it off in between so let's go ahead and start with pomegranate right so pomegranate so let's see oh yeah i just dipped it in really lightly and a lot came off so you can see the powder kick up right there let's see now i wear my high, my uh, blush pretty high up so i like to start up in my hairline first and then work it down okay let's grab a little bit more i mean it definitely shows it's very pretty it's like a soft plum color Ooh, i like it. it has a little bit of a soft 
sheen. Guys, can you see the difference? Ooh, that's really pretty. And then I'm just gonna build it up just a little bit more because I'm a blush heavy person. So I wanna see how much I can get this built up. Ooh, that's so pretty. And this is what it looks like without the highlight okay now i'm gonna go ahead and take my highlight brush tap a little bit of that on again it's very powdery so let's see okay that one looks kind of glitterly not really smooth but more like kind of a glitter when you pick it up, I don't want to dig into it, but it is pressed a little bit harder than the blush. But it's pretty though, but it does give it, it's a sheen, but almost does look like a little bit of glitter particles inside as well. So that's what that looks like right there. Very pretty. I like that. All right, so wipe off our brushes and let's try the next one. Okay. This next one is called Guava. So, right. This one doesn't seem as powdery as the last one was. Let's see. Okay. Yeah, I'm like really digging into this one to get the product to come up. It's soft. So this is, again, that was the one that it seemed like it was kind of hard to show up on my complexion when I did the swatches. Yeah, even on my skin tone, I can barely see this. I don't know, this would be a good one for deeper complexions. My, I'm an NC 42 in the winter, 44 in the summer. And um, I do have a little bit of a tan now. Thank goodness I've been able to go outside and get some sun. So you can see that one definitely. This one I've built up just as many layers and you can hardly see it at all. So maybe if you like that super, super light flush of color, very subtle. I mean, it's there, but it's definitely very, very subtle. All right, so let's see what the highlight will look like. The highlight seemed like, oh, see, and the highlight is pressed much softer than that blush. That's so strange. Let's see. Oh yeah. You can definitely see that highlight. The highlight's popping, not as much as that blush is it though. At least not on my complexion, but the highlight looks beautiful. Again, it looks like there's little tiny, maybe tiny glitter particles. Can you guys see that? The sheen is beautiful though. Look at that. Woo, okay. But yeah, I, this blush shade, which is, which one is this one again? Guava, it's pretty, but doesn't seem like it's gonna really show up. So let me try a little bit more. Mm. I mean, I had a little bit more, but I definitely had to like dig into my brush over and over again. And I don't think that color actually looks that great, so. This one is pomegranate. And this one is guava. And I'll insert some pictures of natural lighting outside so you guys can see that as well. Okay, so I went and took some pictures of natural lighting, so I'll pop those up here for you. And I went ahead and wiped my face off with the makeup eraser and put my base back on. I, if I forgot to tell you, I'm using the ColourPop Pretty Fresh Hyaluronic Hydrating Foundation in the shade Medium Dark 147W. So this one right here, I have a review and I'll pop that up there if you are interested. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and do the next one. So the next one is going to be the White Peach. 
which looks very promising. I love peachy, peachy, peachy uh, blushes. They are like my favorite to wear. Orange, peach, those type of, you know, um, orangey undertone. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and, oop, see this one kicks up a lot, but see that other one did not, which was very strange. It was very hardly packed, the one that was the guava one. So let's tap that off and let's try this one. Okay. See it lightly. Can y'all see that? Let's see, let's put some more. Okay, I definitely see it, it's building. Okay, that's pretty. It still looks a little subtle for me and what I like, but it is pretty. And it has a little bit of a luminescent glow to it. Oh, that's really pretty. Okay, so far I think that was my favorite. That's really pretty. Okay, let's try this highlight a little bit. Yeah, this one, this highlight seems to be hardly packed as well. A lot, a lot of powdery comes up. Okay, well, let's do this again. Okay, very, very nice, it's pretty. And this one seems like it has more of a sheen than that glitter where I felt like the other two kind of had glitter particles in it. I don't really see glitter in that one. But the sheen is really pretty. So that's without and that's with it. Yeah, I like this one. This is a subtle, nice one. I like that. So let's see, again, if you have a deeper complexion, I don't know if that's gonna work for you. Like on my arm, my arm is much lighter than my face and it shows up pretty well there. But as you can see, building that up, it took a while to build it up, build it up but I'm not sure if that will work on deeper complexions. So let's go ahead and wipe these off and let's try the bronzer one now. So this one's called Coconut and this bronzer looks super promising, so I'm excited about that. Okay, so, oh, that one seems to be coming off just fine. And then let us see. Oh yeah, she shows up, she's coming to play. Oh yeah, wow. Has a beautiful undertone and warmth to it too. Ooh, I like that. Oh, that's really pretty. Can you guys see that? There's the blush, there's with the bronzer. Ooh. Oh, I like that a lot. Okay, let's do this highlight that they have on this one over here. This is the one that said it looks like glitter. I mean, even on the brush, it looks like I'm picking up like one of those loose highlighters that has like the glitter particles, That's exactly what it looks like. I feel like maybe if we wet the brush, it will, it will look less powdery and look more like a sheen. It'll also make it more intense, but that's beautiful. Oh man, I really like that a lot too, but it definitely looks like I do have some glitter on my face though. But the sheen is beautiful. Man, I like that bronzer. Okay, that bronzer and the peach, what is this called? The white peach are probably my favorite ones. They're really pretty. Okay, let me go take pictures and I will be right back with final thoughts. Okay, I'm back. So. I'll insert the pictures here and I think I took a little video the sun today I I started late so it's my fault that I'm you know missing the sun but I really like these are my two favorites right here now I was curious I don't know if I should go get the other ones because they look very different than what they seem like in person than what they look like online um, and of course that's always gonna be different based off of you know your computer screen and all that jazz there is a lot of kickback like if you could see all of the powder all over my my table right here from you know just tapping into these 
they are very powdery and then some are very hardly pressed so they seem like to be very different formulas for all of them which i guess that is a thing not really sure but uh like i said these two are my favorite which are the white peach and the coconut which is the bronzer um, and i think this bronzer goes pretty deep so uh if you're an nc45 i think you definitely can use this maybe even a maybe maybe one shade uh, darker than that because it actually goes pretty deep and I was going very light hand so I, I feel like if you were to build that up that you would be able to do so and have a good effect and I think the undertone and the warmth that it gives it looks very natural it doesn't look like it looks like it's too red so I really like that a lot I really like that blush um, the pomegranate was nice I like that this is just not uh, generally a color that I gravitate towards but it is pretty and I do like it and I do like the highlight that was in it uh, the what's this one called the guava it's a shame because this color looks really pretty in pan but it doesn't translate well to my complexion it barely shows up uh, but the highlights really beautiful and in fact like I said before just about uh, the highlights are all very similar so um, I'm not if you saw a highlight that you liked in another one but you saw a blush in the other I don't think you're missing out and that you need to get both because these highlights are so similar in on my skin they look pretty identical. I On my skin, I can't really tell the difference here. In the swatches, you can see a little bit of a difference, but on my on my cheeks, after they've been blended in, I can't tell the difference. So it really feels like they have maybe the same highlight, but just a, tweaked it a little bit for it to be lighter or darker. But yeah, so. Hola, people. I just wanted to jump in here real quick and just show you this swatch comparison with Natasha Denona Tan Palette and the Elf Bronze Duo and just see how close they look. So, all right. Yeah, that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and that you were able to see what will work for you on, on based on my skin tone right here, whether it was tan girl friendly or not. So as you know, you know, things are not gonna always be the same as what you see online. Uh, again, I will link Karen Harris's video if she has hers up, uh, cause she did buy all eight, I believe she said when I was talking to her. So I guess that's it. So if you guys don't mind, I hope that you like and subscribe to the channel. Ring the notification bell to be notified. There'll be more videos coming up. And I guess I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.